Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Sada ću da pročitam, da započem sa čitanjem Dostojevskog. So this is going to be a short reading from notes from the underground by Fyodor Dostojevski. I'm going to start to read this from a book um, that uh, it's a Dover print, my favorite translation, by the way, of this uh, uh, of this great, great, great book. And uh, I'm going to read only the first page to start, and I'm going to see where it's going to take me from there. I am a sick man. I am a spiteful man. I am an unattractive man. I believe my liver is diseased. However, I know nothing at all about my disease and do not know for certain what ails me. I don't consult a doctor for it and never have, though I have respect for medicine and doctors. Besides, I am extremely superstitious. Sufficiently so to respect medicine anyway. I am well educated enough not to be superstitious, but I am superstitious. No, I refuse to consult a doctor from spite. That you probably do not understand. Well, I understand it though. Of course, I can explain who it is precisely that I am mortifying in this case by my spite. I am perfectly well aware that I cannot pay out the doctors by not consulting them. I know better than anyone that by all this I am only injuring myself and no one else. But still, if I don't consult a doctor, it is from spite. My liver is bad. Well, let it get worse. <laughs> I mean, this is this is simply uh, this is simply mind-boggling. This is just the first paragraph of this short, uh, ninety-page book. Ninety-page book. That's it. A short paragraph, and it's. And it already just captures your uh, mind. You you can't stop reading. You have to just continue from this point on. You you, you simply can't stop. And I'm going to just read uh, one of my favorite parts of this novel because it's so it's so painful. Uh, it's very short, but it's so powerful. It's uh, from the page 57 chapter 5 of the purpose of the wet snow and it says we shall fight at daybreak that's a sad thing I've done with the office Ferfichkin made a joke about it just now but where can I get pistols nonsense I'll get my salary in advance and buy them and powder and bullets that's the second's business and how can it all be done by daybreak and where am I to get a second I have no friends nonsense I cried, lashing myself up more and more. It's of no consequence. The first person I meet in the street is bound to be my second. Just as you would be bound to pull a drowning man out of water, the most eccentric thing, things may happen. Even if I were to ask the director himself to be my second tomorrow, he would be bound to consent, if only from a feeling of chivalry and to keep the secret Anton Antonich. The fact is that at, that at that very minute the disgusting absurdity of my plan and the other side of the question was clearer and more vivid to me, to my imagination, than it could be to anyone on earth. But get on, driver, get on, your racial, get on! <laughs> this guy is a raving lunatic. He, he's simply a genius. And this book is a absolute colossal masterpiece uh, of the. I would say uh, I wouldn't just call it a literature because it's much more than that. It's a philosophical gold. Uh, they they usually uh, consider this in a philosoph philosophical sense um, proto existentialist because from this kind of writing. Later on, uh, existentialist movement started building upon this, of course, the works of Jean Paul Sartre and um, Albert Camus and uh, uh, the rest of the. <laughs> this is really French movement, existentialism. This is nothing to do with existentialism, but from it builds upon this kind of uh, 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 agony, if you will, of human existence. And uh, 
Dostoevsky is simply a master.